Hi, my name is Lisa Wang. I'm a PhD candidate from the University of Illinois. My research interests are public economics and industrial organization. Recently, I've been applying a molding model to empirical study of political advertising and negative ads in particular. Political campaigns often feature blatant attacks to opponents. So, do political attacks work? Does negative advertising repel voters or incite them? To answer this question, I construct a discrete choice model of voter utility where voters are exposed to political adver advertising and <clears throat> they absorb information about candidate quality and then decide whom to vote for or simply throw their votes away. The difference in the perceived candidate quality determines the, sh the shares for each candidate and voter turnout rate. I test the model and investigate the, the effects of advertising and negativity in recent presidential elections 2000, 2004, and 2008 using detailed satellite tracking data. By matching the aggregate ads in each media market to its current counties, I'm able to explore the effects of advertising on voter choice and turnout. I control for the endogeneity of, the, of advertising by using instrument that correlates with advertising but not with unobservable to utility voter preference. Um, specifically, um, I use the lagged advertising price and the previous election state level turnout as the instrument. I find robust positive effects of, of advertising on voter choice and on candidate choice and voter turnout. Specifically, um, advertising exposures and negativity increase turnout and help the candidates who advertise more or attack more. In a counterfactual experiment, manipulating negativity level could have resulted in a different precedent in 2000 or 2004. Besides research, I'm also a teaching assistant for both undergraduate and graduate level courses and now as an instructor for game theory. I enjoy teaching a lot. I'm proud of my high teaching evaluations and I'm constantly seeking to improve it. I often relate to real life examples and, and applications during my teaching and I see students showing extra interest. For example, when I was teaching oligopoly, I saw, I saw an example of a popular local Chinese restaurant which was forced off campus by its competitors. You can also find a statement of teaching philosophy on my personal website. Thanks so much for your attention.